Hello everyone, welcome back to Theme Park Enthusiastic. I'm in the queue for Room on the Broom at Chessington. I shall see you after. And we got a nice person to be introduced to the vlogs and will be a permanent member of the Theme Park Enthusiastic team. So I've just been on, uh, what's it called now? Room on the Broom, sorry. And it's not very good, you know. We're always at the back and we never get the full experience. We just miss all the show and we just end up walking through. But anyway, I've got someone to introduce. Some say he's been in the background of some vlogs and some others just say he's some random. Well, all we know is here he is. Hi, I'm Doug. Come to enjoy his videos. So, Dad, he's my dad. What did you think of Room on the Broom? It's all right, it's not bad. Uh, apart from like you say, we were at the back, so we need to have a bit of interaction. Gonna get in and get on, get to the front, and you yeah, the best experience. Right, I don't know what ride we're going on now, but I shall see you there. Now, if you've been following me on Twitter at Theme Park Enthusiastic, if you just search up, you'll find me. Uh, you'll be knowing that I'm staying here for two days and one night. There will be a hotel vlog, I mean, tour thing coming up next week, and then the week after will be day two. If, the, if day two is, well, if day one's long enough, then day two will be uploaded separately. But anyway, look forward to that. I just thought I'd give you an update because I haven't told you yet. So, yeah. So, we've just been on the Chessington Adventure Tree. Now, Dan, what's your opinion? Oh, it's a slow, relaxing, good for kids, you know, younger kids. It's all right. Well, I thought it's great, you know, great theming with the animals and stuff. But it's a shame that the water effect wasn't on because the water's supposed to trickle down. I, that's I not. don't remember the last time the water was working here. Maybe yeah. that's the chest we can look at. So. Definitely. But so we've just been on Vampire. Great John Wardley classic there. What did you think? Good ride. Great theming when you go in. I, I love the theming with the, with, the, with, the, with the vampire and the piano and stuff, or the organs. The ride itself. I, Personally, I think it's too jerky. Uh, hit your head a lot. It's good though, but jerky. Well, I personally think that you should keep your head forwards, and then you don't bang with the restraint as much. Because with Rita, you keep your head back. But with uh, Vampire, I recommend keeping your head forwards so you don't bang your head as much. Anyway, I think we're going on Gruffalo now, so I'll see you in a bit. Hello guys, welcome back. So we've just been on, oh, our camera's been stolen. We've just been on the Gruffalo. Uh, the, before I asked him, what, the, the whole story was just like cut off. So what we got was lots of noises yeah. and, and no story. Uh, however, someone got a little bit wet. So as you can see, I'm behind a smoking sign. Don't worry, I don't smoke. Um, but anyway, we're heading to Scorpion Express now. Great uh, little ride. So, we've just been on Scorpion Express, and I just, that's us for him for his opinion. Uh, it's, it's a good ride. Uh, it's good, again, good for kids. Uh, it's quite vibrating. Uh, potentially needs a bit of upgrading, I think. Uh, so maybe if they rebrand the area, I might want to rebrand uh, the poster. Well, I don't agree on rebranding the area. I think the area is quite good, but I think maybe the co the coaster needs a bit of retracking, like Nemesis. But I suppose it's quite old, and I believe it was like the first proper poster Chessington ever had, also the first one John Wardley ever designed. So I suppose. It's there for history now, but we're heading to the zoo, and I'll just take a few pictures and videos of that. I won't really be talking. <laughs> and then after that, uh, we're, um, we're going to our hotel room. Keep your eye out for the for the, vlog, the video next week in the hotel room. It's my life.
So behind me Ooh, is a sculpture one. of like a, a giraffe. And I quite like it, you know. I think it's new for this year and it's really nice. It's, I don't, it's just nice. I mean, I've always liked giraffes. As you can see here, there's also a lion. Very good uh, thing. So where are we now with all this fabulous seeming around us? Uh, we're heading in the trailer, trailer of the Kings uh, to have a look at some monkeys and gorillas. Should be good. Can't wait. I'll tell you if we get eaten. There's a bottle behind oh, us. Uh, which is great, you know, lots of different animals, lions, but I think it's too hot for them to do, really, because yeah. they're all like, inside. Yeah, a lot of having a rest, mm -hmm. a lot of inside. Yes. As you saw by one of the photos before, there was this, uh, there was like the whole monkey enclosure was just sleeping, It's quite interesting. Right, so we're going to head to our uh, room now, I think that's the end of the vlog today, not sure if we'll be back or not. If we are back, you won't see this video as Dad behind. Uh, but we're heading to the room right now. It's the monkey room. Keep an eye out for that vlog next week. What did you think of the animals of Dad? Uh, they're okay. Uh, animals. Yeah, animals. Yeah.